I was looking forward to the black and white ending, Gene ending, and then getting yeah. us back into the good stuff. Uh-huh. And that, that that horizon never came. No. I kept waiting and it never came. Mm-hmm. But I did, I did call this. I have to say, I did call this. And Stacey can agree, can attest for me, that in the beginning of this, of this season, I said there's going to be a full black and white episode. But oh. I said that believing that much more would happen. Like some yes. cam action or something. Not this, unfortunately. But, <laughs> hey, I was right. We got a full black and white. Right. Yeah. And I like the episode. I like, you know, because they're always clever. When just, I just like how clever they make the episodes and just how clever Jimmy is, I guess. Or Saul. Or yeah. Gene. Because without Whatever spoiling names. it, this whole episode revolves around a singular Saul Goodman heist. Um, and... They were very creative with that, which is why our score is higher than our entertainment score. Because I, I do think the episode was well written. It was good. I just feel like it's out of place for me, for what I am yeah. desiring in these last four episodes of Better Call Saul. So, let's get straight into the scores. Well, actually, hold on. Let me tell you what I think. <laughs> I think that this episode, my, my immediate reaction was just disappointment coming out of it. Yeah. I, I was expecting these last four to just be bangers, and in all reality, to the Breaking Bad universe, this doesn't move anything along, it doesn't show us nope. any character trick, nothing. All it does is um, give us some insight into post-Breaking Bad Jimmy yeah. in a longer detail, and... Nothing's changed. But nothing's learned. No, b- yeah, just, no big revelations yeah, or anything. there's nothing learned. And because of this, I was not... I, I did fall out of entertainment at times. Yes. Where I was like, is this still going? Like, this is a long scene. And because of that, uh, we gave this a 75% entertainment score. Yeah. And then it just was not as intriguing or polling because of the placement of the episode in the show. And then... We gave it a score, a, our critical score of 84 to 100. Like we said, real well written, creative. Mm-hmm. I liked um, the sing- the when he did the one through ten, picking out the clothes, which yep. you'll see. Um, there's just some in, in, you know some good lines and things yeah. that made it a good show, a good episode. But other than that, and then I'll, again, we do not give our midnight star. Our midnight star is basically our Michelin star of the entertainment industry. As you say, as you saw on the graphic, it's not available for specific episodes, but we will be doing them for full out seasons. So on the last episode of the show, we will be giving our season rank, our, our season Ooh. midnight star. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Me too. So and then for our little uh, bio, for those people who want to see that. So this episode follows a singular heist of Gene Takovic in exchange for a favor. Jimmy is able to wear the Saul Goodman persona again, bringing back former characters. This episode follows the normal rhetoric of a slow Better Call Saul episode. There are many good nuggets to enjoy, per usual, but feels more of a letdown as it's placed in the waning episodes of the series. 